if your blood pressure cuff is too small for your arm, it can give you a falsely high blood pressure reading. And if the blood pressure cuff is too large for your arm, it can give you a falsely low blood pressure cuff reading. If you look at your blood pressure cuff or the blood pressure cuff at your doctor's office, it will actually give you the size. It will have a range and that tells you what size your arm needs to be to properly fit into that cuff. I'm Dr. Frida, I'm a kidney and high blood pressure specialist. I'll show you. So in order to measure the circumference of your arm or how long your arm is when you measure around it, you want to get really into the, the center of that, that muscle part of your upper arm. All right, how much is my, how big is my arm? You are approximately 12 and a half inches. Okay, so for this particular cuff, this is just a regular size adult cuff and the range for it to fit is 9.8 to 13 and a half inches. So the circumference of my arm is 12 and a half inches, so that this cuff should be right for me. Okay, so this will give me an accurate measurement. If your arm is larger than 13 and a half inches, then this is not the cuff for you because this cuff would give you a falsely elevated blood pressure. It's too tight. So what do you do? You get a larger cuff. So here in my office, we do have large adult cuffs. So for this cuff, the range is about 12 and a half inches to 17 inches. Okay, but what if your arm is bigger than that? That's okay. Then you'll just need to request an extra large cuff or you might need a thigh cuff. If you have a small arm, like less than nine and a half inches, then you may actually need a children's cuff. Either way, it's very important to know the circumference of your arm in order to have the proper blood pressure cuff size and so you can have accurate blood pressure measurements.